To be at Django Fest, we all are. Uh, this is the high point of our week. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, that was what Nick was saying was nowhere near as bad this time as he invited everybody over to our house for a party afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys all showed up. <laughs> oh yeah, I was going to introduce the band. <laughs> so on my right is uh, my uh, compatriot and uh, our brother in arms. So we've been going at this for quite some time now. Uh, Keith Bowers is one of the greatest in Right here behind me is Miss Christy O'Donnell. Christy, Christy is uh, our fearless bass player. When we first started, Christy didn't know any of these tunes, and we'd go out and we'd say, Hey, you want to play Mabel? Sure! <laughs> she had no idea. <laughs> but now, as you can tell, she does know how to play Mabel. <laughs> and very, very well. Uh, I've lived here on Whidbey for uh, 15 years now. And we've seen all sorts of uh, people come and go. And the one thing I found is that Whidbey produces some amazing music musicians. Um, let's see, we had Aaron Parks, who was from Whidbey. Uh, Gloria Perry Clement is here. Uh, John Small is from here. Keegan Harshman is from here. I don't know any of those people. <laughs> They're all great. But the man sitting to my left here is a, a born and bred Whidbey Island native, and he's one of the greatest musicians I've ever had the opportunity to sit next to. So I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Eric Vanderbilt Matthews. If you think that Eric plays these reeds well, you should hear him play piano, because you ain't heard nothing yet. Unfortunately, you'll have to come back to another concert to hear that. <laughs> Let's do 12 here. Uh, we don't know who this uh, tune was written for, uh, apparently some 12-year-old. Uh, it was written in 1939, so I'm guessing somebody born in 1927. I haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> I'm going to put down the mic now. 